If you have an older DVD player or VCR or gaming console that only connects with the yellow composite video connector cable and the red-white audio signal, but you want to connect to your TV using an HDMI cable, you're going to have to convert. Hello and welcome to our channel, All About Home Electronics, where in this video we're going to show you how to convert the composite video cable to an HDMI cable and we'll get started right after this. So to begin, we need the right equipment in order to make that conversion. And what you're looking at right here is a composite video analog audio converter that converts from that to HDMI. It will not convert the other way around. For that, you'd need a different video and a different piece of equipment. Now, this particular product we picked up at a local retailer. It's by the brand On. It's fairly straightforward. However, there are one or two considerations that we're going to show you now. First and foremost, this particular converter is going to need a source for power and they do supply the power cord in the particular box. We're going to hook that up last, but you want to take this into account when you're planning out how you're going to make the connection because you'll have to be close to that electrical source. The next thing you're going to want to do, and it's pretty straightforward, is take your composite cable and connect it just as you would to the back of your older legacy equipment. And do, in fact, match color to color. Taking the other end of that very same cable, again, match yellow to yellow, white to white, and red to red. Next, we're simply going to take pretty much any good working HDMI cable and plug one end, either end, it doesn't matter, into the converter. You'd want to take the other end of that, that same HDMI cable and we're going to plug ours into HDMI 3 because in some cases this is going to be the least capable HDMI port on a TV. It's not the case with all televisions. We're not using HDMI 1 which is labeled ARC because we leave that open for connecting to a sound system if we want to do that. Totally different video, not related to this conversion here. Now the paperwork on this particular converter says that it'll work with both a PAL and an NTSC signal which is going to cover most viewers for this video. And on the side, whether you can see this on your uh, video screen or not, it gives you a selector button for 1080 or 720p resolution. We're going to start at 720p resolution, and if it works on our particular device, then we might try 1080p. And naturally, one of the final steps in connecting the converter is plugging in your power supply. Now, when you turn your television on, you're going to need to select the correct input which you plugged your converter in. Your TV may not look like this, but in the case of our example, you'll recall we plugged our converter in to HDMI 3. Next thing is make sure you have power to your device and turn it on. And it's loading, but we haven't put anything in there yet. So we're going to open the disc tray and go right there. Alright, now this video is a 8mm uh, video that's been converted to a DVD. It's a uh, home movie. Uh, this might be one of the reasons that you need or want to do this. And there it is. That's pretty great. Uh, the quality of the image is good and that works. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.